Hi there! Welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video, I will be talking about the Samsung Galaxy S22 and Galaxy S22 Plus. Samsung's new high-end smartphones are already available. The Samsung Galaxy S22 and Galaxy S22 Plus are part of a triplet that completes the even more ambitious Galaxy S22 Ultra, and although they share some features of its big brother, these proposals are somewhat more demure. Still, these are two truly remarkable products that stand out for having the new Samsung Exynos 2200 SOC, a GPU from AMD, and a triplet of promising photo sensors in a renewed and more discreet rear part. Let's start. There are hardly any differences in the design of these phones compared to their predecessors. The back has a camera module with the same format, but with only one difference. It is the color of the camera module. Last year the Galaxy S21 and Galaxy S21 Plus had a different color for that module compared to the rest of the back. Now the color is the same, which makes the module more camouflaged, providing more continuity to those lines. Otherwise, the chassis is the same as the 2021 models, same metallic sides, same location of buttons or USB Type-C port, and same front. There is, however, one noteworthy feature, the use of recycled plastic from fishing nets in these casings. What changes, of course, is the size of these devices, which slightly reduce their diagonals. The Galaxy S22 now has a 6.1 inch screen, it was 6.2 on the S21, and the Galaxy S22 Plus has a 6.6 .6 inch screen, it was 6.7 on the S21 Plus. These sizes mark a key section that will undoubtedly be a buying factor for many users, the battery. The Samsung Galaxy S22 has a battery that a priori seems even somewhat fair, but perhaps the new SOC makes that 3700 mAh more than enough. There is another small disadvantage in this base model, fast charging is only 25 watts. In the Galaxy S22 Plus, this section gains quite a few points. The battery reaches 4500 mAh, and fast charging reaches 45 watts, a figure that certainly leaves behind its smaller version. Both of course, have support for 15 watts wireless charging. The specifications of the new Galaxy S22 and S22 Plus are fantastic, but it is true that in some areas the differences with their predecessors are not so notable. Thus, the same display technology which was certainly already outstanding and a memory and storage configuration that is already classic in these high-end phones. Perhaps we could even expect a further twist in the storage, in fact, 128GB is a decent number, but at these prices maybe it's time to ask for a base capacity of 256GB. The RAM will only be in 8GB. What is the differentiating element of that hardware is the chip used. This is the debut of the Samsung Exynos 2200 SOC, which will face the Snapdragon 8 General 1 and has 8 cores in its CPU and a 4nm lithography. On paper this chip looks very good, but even more interesting is a GPU integrated into that SOC, which for the first time is an AMD GPU that is based on the RDNA2 architecture. Considering that this is the same architecture used in the PS of the PS5 or the Xbox Series X, things are getting interesting for those who want to squeeze the graphics power of the device. It will be interesting to see how this SOC performs in both non-gaming and gaming scenarios, but of course, the inclusion of these integrated graphics chips which even boasts support for ray tracing, could be very interesting. The photographic aspect of the Galaxy S22 and Galaxy S22 Plus is along with the S Pen, the great element of distinction with the Galaxy S22 Ultra, but although here Samsung makes a less ambitious proposal, the choice of sensors is undoubtedly interesting. Thus, we have above all a promising 50 megapixels main sensor in f/1.8 aperture, a striking leap compared to the 12 megapixels sensor of the Galaxy S21. The ultra wide angle makes use of a sensor with a resolution of 12 megapixels. The telephoto lens, which will be able to offer a zoom of up to 3.5x, is also governed by a 10 megapixel sensor, also an interesting decision considering that the previous model used a 64 megapixel sensor with lower zoom capability. It also features 10 megapixels selfie camera. The Samsung Galaxy S22 is back starting from $799.99 for the base model, 
going up to $999.99 for the Plus model. These are the official prices. Here ends our video on Samsung Galaxy S22 and Galaxy S22 Plus. We hope you find it very useful. If you have any suggestion kindly share with us in the comments section. Also, do not forget to like, share and subscribe to our channel. Please click on the notification bell in front of the subscribe button to turn on notification for this channel, so as to notify you when I post new video. Thank you for watching.